Hi, I'm Dr. Jamie Connis, and I'm going to talk about something today that parents can find very distressing, and that is nosebleeds. So why do kids get nosebleeds? Well, the most common reason by far is some type of trauma, either self-inflicted, the child is picking their nose and does it too much and causes a bleed, or some type of external trauma, like they hit their nose on something or get hit in the face with something. Other causes of nosebleeds are kids who get frequent seasonal allergies, uh, the nasal passages can get irritated and bleed, or sometimes just during the winter when the weather is very dry and there's not enough um, mucus in the nose, it can dry out and bleed. So what happens if you see your child getting a nosebleed, which is essentially a sudden onset of blood gushing out of the nose, usually just one side? Well, first, stay calm. Try to stay calm. Your child is probably freaking out and one of you should stay calm. And if your child sees you freaking out, they're just going to cry harder and the nose will bleed even harder. Have them lean forward and try to stop the bleeding by pinching the nose, ideally with a cold compress if you have one, but you can also just use your fingers and pinch the nose. Keep it pinched off for 10 minutes. Don't stop and check to see if the bleeding is stopping during that time. Just keep it pinched off for that whole 10 minutes. At the end of the 10 minutes, the nosebleed should be stopped. Most of them stop within 10 minutes. When should you come to the ER for a nosebleed? If you're not getting it to stop after that first 10 minutes, or if you think that your child is losing a lot of blood, or if they start vomiting what looks like blood, or if the cause of the nosebleed is some type of trauma externally, like they just got hit in the face with a ball or something, you should be coming to the ER for that. How can you prevent nosebleeds? Well, teach your children not to pick their nose is the big one and try to avoid trauma. Some people also like to use nasal sprays to help keep the nasal passages uh, more moist during the cold winter months. That's fine, but we actually recommend against using the medicated nasal sprays because they can actually cause more inflammation in the nose. Just using some saline water is totally fine. There are certain medical conditions such as cystic fibrosis and bleeding disorders that can be associated with worse and more frequent nosebleeds, and your doctor may want to do more of a workup for those conditions. Nosebleeds can be scary, but they're easily managed.